welcome down to Sadiat Beach Golf Club and what a beautiful beautiful golf course, golf course this is. It's myself and Rick. We're going to be playing alternate shots on here. I've tweaked my wrist a little bit. I don't fancy pushing it too much. Uh, nine hole match is already on Rick's channel. Go over and check it out. We're on the 10th hole here. We're going to play as a team now. I know. I'm, I'm, it's, it's going to be hard to switch by the competitive nature of this match off. We're always competitive anyway. So first hole's uh, short par four, 310. Pete did drive it on here yesterday. So Yeah, a good, a good shot yesterday. I think the wind's Maybe helping a little bit more today, so it will. I think the wind's off the left of it as well. Yeah, definitely. It's um, we're very, very close to the coastline here. The beach is pretty much just over those bunkers there. And by the way, this course has a couple of bunkers. As you might see on the top. <laughs> oh, stay there, stay there, stay, stay. Didn't see it down, was it finished? It just faded into the bunker on the right. Oh, unlucky. Man. That was a good shot, mate. That was Why? a good shot. I mean, that wind just hurt it off the... As you can probably see from the drone footage and from this camera, if you don't hit the green, you are going to be in a bunker. Yeah. So, <laughs> not too bad. Right, guys, guess the score below as well. Prize is up for grabs. Rick will do a really special shout out and come cook you a meal. Perfect, glad we agreed. Okay, um, as you can see, Pete is in a massive bunker. We can't hear you down there, I don't think, Pete. I said he's deep. It's very, this is probably not making it look as deep as what it is. Wait, how far am I away from the pin here? I can't see it. You can't see it from there? I can't see it. You're about 30 yards. Okay. If that. Come down off that. Oh, that is so unlucky. Really unlucky. Really? You landed it on top of the of the brow of the hill. A couple of yards shorter, it would have been exceptional. Did it not spin back? No. That's tough foot now. There are some the slopes on these greens are incredible and if you do get a bit of spinny spinny backspin on some of them. Like the next hole as well. I remember yesterday with Michael ripping it back. I mean, to be fair, mate, I've left you a putt where it's mostly about line because it's going to get to the hole. I think you'd do well to stop it short. Challenge accepted. Out or over here? Yeah, and then just to the brow of the hill and then let it run down. Same as ever, commit, be confident. I'm not sure about that on this hole. Very good putt. Break, break. Pass two. Oh, oh, what? Had to go that way. That was a great putt, that. That was unlucky. You can take that away, mate, if you want. Are we okay with this? Yeah, you can take that away. We'll let Rick tap it in. Level par. <laughs> On to the next. Yeah. 11th hole here, and it is a cracker. Par five, around the corner. Um, just in case, again, you didn't notice, there's a few bunkers out here. Uh, it's about 280 to carry the middle ones, and Rick is going to rocket this. Absolutely smashing. Now, is it going to carry? Is it going to carry? This is the question. This is the question. Is it going to carry? Is it going to carry? The answer to that is yes. Up, yes, it is. <laughs> Shot partner. Thanks, Not a problem. I'll lay up with a sandwich. <laughs> I've got to admit, as drives go, that was a cracker. That was very, very good. I've only got two, was it 205? 205 into a flag. Now, the flag is really back right, super back right. So it requires a shot that starts into the middle of the green and just drifts towards that pin at the back. Yeah. Pete's going to go with four hybrid. Uh, three. I've only got my three. I mean, normally, it's, to be fair, it's a five. It's a hard five iron, but need to just chill out a bit with it that's all so this was the bunker that i needed to carry it about 280 and managed to clear that yeah hit that one well okay nice second shot in there now little fade from the middle to that pin oh <laughs> it's an interesting way of doing it that, if that had missed the bunker that actually would have worked out amazingly well <laughs> 
It's just clipped. I think he's short the green, but is it? Yeah, I think so. Just hurt it in the hand. Yeah, it's it's like right. It's in there. It's one of those. I have had it before, and it's just it's just over practice on mats. That's what happens when you practice, guys. Little note to everyone: do we, not practice. We are pros. Learn from this lesson. Don't <laughs> practice. Well, I've got to admit, Pete. I had my uh, I had my worries that I had too much club on you. Listen, some people say I'm crazy, but I know my game. But I didn't realise you'd use the shoulder of that bunker just to slow the ball down to make sure it didn't run through the back. Oh, it's the one advantage to being constantly ill and constantly injured. I know how to manage my game in these situations. And the way I manage it is turn it into a foursomes format, get you to hit the big shots and get lucky. <laughs> uh, right. Now you had this putt yesterday pretty much, didn't you? Um, oh yeah. And it's going up over the shoulder here, then down and left. It's actually on a bit of a slope, that pin. So for an eagle, just imagine the start of that vlog as an eagle. Come on, we've got this. Up and over, then down. Yeah, good effort. Nice not pick. Not quite enough speed or not high enough there. It's a nice put, I think, all around that. I mean, I'd probably give myself that if I'm honest, but... People actually want to see your hit shots, Pete. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a big shot for me. I'm, I'm thinking it's quite uphill. <laughs> That's pretty sh straight. I mean, I'm going to have to, you know, just throttle back a little bit. So it's only just going to be limping into the hole, I think. <laughs> Can't hit this hard. By the way, everyone, if you've watched Pete and my first three videos, he putted magnificently, so I've seen no problems with this at all. A routine sweep up. Just going to get that hip turn in. Lovely. <laughs> get that hip turn in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't use my wrist so much, so it's more of a... Oh, right, wow. Well. So, birdie guys, turn. one under. Quest for the, the foursomes better ball open. 11th hole here guys and as you might expect 12. all right i was testing people <laughs> way to ruin the game rick <laughs> We're a team, We're a team. yeah 12th hole uh, you are right uh lots of bunkers down here 200 yards down the hill very very tricky pin it's it's tough this because the wind's off the left you've got to start it out i'm going to aim between the, the edge of the green and the bunker yeah i think that's wise if the wind brings it happy days if it doesn't happy days That has drifted. That has drifted right. It's a layup. I'm a good chipper, it's okay. Okay, so we get down to the ball. I'm a bit gutted about this shot actually, because I thought, I thought I judged it okay, but weak strike and then the wind hit it. And it's left Pete a little, little chip back into the flag, back into an uphill lie. Yeah, um, I'm feeling pretty confident about it though. I'd be surprised if you have to put. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean I might be chipping? <laughs> uh, 60 degree, quite aggressive. Just going to use the bounce. Warm pitching in. Go. Oh, it grabbed real quick. I'll tell you what, I'm getting that shot around these greens now and I've been here for a couple of days playing them I love it absolutely love it well it's that honestly the first time we played here yesterday and then when I was playing night golf those shots around the green were terrifying because I've not played off a tight lie around the greens in about three weeks <laughs> no a lot of those shots it's it is tricky because they're all very tightly mown around but I imagine spending time here, you get so good at those shots. So it looks pretty straight though. Yeah, just slightly left edge. Okay, so for par, to carry on at one under. Eagle moose, eagle moose. It tried to bobble away, but it didn't. <laughs> okay, par, so one yeah, under. One under, and guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this foursomes format, it's been forced upon us slightly but 
we're having a good time, we're playing a great course. Sadiat Beach is amazing. If you oh, ever are in outrageous. this area, just get here and play. It is fantastic. And we're going to head on now to holes which Don't are... to guess below what your score is going to be after even better. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to be fair, you should have guessed it at the start like we asked you to, but you can, you can cheat a little bit. No guessing on the second part, though. We're going to ask you a different question, which we need to make up. So, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Rick, as always. Please follow us on our other social media platforms as well, which are all linked in the description below. And we will see you for another action-packed episode yeah. coming soon. Guys, if you are worried, don't, because you are going to see more bunkers as well. Next time.